It began like so many other fair openings. The band and choir took their places and began singing. People were milling all around, and the governor opened the gates to let everybody in. The big difference this morning, a dozen protesters that began shouting down roads during his brief opening remarks. With that, Rhodes called for the Battle Hymn of the Republic as state patrolmen moved in to disperse the protesters. After the official ribbon cutting ceremony by Rhodes's daughter and grandchildren, he talked to newsmen. But another protester waded through the crowd, eluding state patrolmen, and struck Governor Rhodes in the face with a banana cream pie. The protester was immediately handcuffed by patrolmen and hauled away. The governor was also whisked away by private car. Later, he told me that he felt all right, but had no comment on the Kent State incident. Well, it was not a matter of reaction. We're in litigation, and uh, we have no comment on any incident concerning Kent State. What went through your mind when all that happened? Just uh, be no comment whatsoever. Governor, uh, did you think at all about talking to them or anything like that? Ahead? Well, it's, uh, we have a uh, function here, and we're carrying out our duties, and as uh, far as the incident of anybody here, we have no comment. So the 1977 Ohio State Fair here in Columbus opens on a turbulent note, perhaps the most turbulent in its history. But Governor James A. Rhodes is not worried, saying he's come through crises like this many times. This is George Lehner in Columbus, Ohio.